On this Memorial Day, we honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. 10 News reporter Tim Harfman shows us how one local ceremony is remembering those we've lost while educating the next generations. From patriotic music to flags to reading names of those who died in combat. Robert Elf. Irving. American Legion Post 104 in Appomattox honored those who made the supreme sacrifice. With the pop and circumstance front and center, Roberta Stewart stood behind the crowd, grieving over her husband. My husband was Sergeant Patrick D. Stewart, who was killed in action on September 25th, 2005, along with four crew members from Nevada. Stewart was a 17-year Army veteran who died in Afghanistan. He was 35 years old. This Gold Star wife says the day is not only about remembering Remembering, but educating. Today is important to teach the grandchildren and my children what Memorial Day is, to stand up for the freedoms we have and the freedoms that our soldiers died for. American Legion Commander Ronald Crockless says having younger generations involved is vital to help veterans groups maintain membership. The younger generation doesn't want to be part of an organization. Um, you've get, you get the, the younger soldiers in the military and they'll join the organization as long as they're in the military. The minute they get out of the military, then they no longer want to be part of the organization. Their hope that young people like 17 year old Trey Villain Torrance make sure patriots of the past aren't forgotten in the future. Being here today shows that not only the generation that went through it understands it, but that some younger generations, they also understand what it means. In Appomattox, Tim Harfman, 10 News, working for you.